What's going on guys, it's Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and this is going to go within the series of the last video I just posted which is what is on my phone this one is going to be what is on my Nexus 6 so the last one video that I just put up or that should be up before this is my iPhone 6 Plus so this is what is on my Nexus 6 so the Google side of things instead of the Apple side of things so um, first of all, on the actual phone itself, this is just a D-brand skin, um, matte black with just the X cut out, and this is amazing. I love the way this looks. I carry this phone naked besides the skin because it's humongous, and any case that I've used adds too much bulk, and I don't even like it. I like the way the phone feels, so I keep it that way. Um, I have the white cloud, or cloud white version. So the band is the lighter color, and then just this D-Brand skin, which covers the dimple, covers everything. Uh, highly recommend D-Brand skins if you haven't used one before. So a lot of fingerprints on here, but once the screen lights up, we should be good. So I have a ton of notifications, and they're all for the game Lifeline. If you haven't played, let me clear those so they're out of our way. So I am running Nova Launcher on my phone. There's a lot of tweaks done to this uh, over the years to make it look the way I do. Let me change my wallpaper because I think it's taking away from the way I want it to look. So the wallpaper is going to look a little goofy. So um, I have my folders all down here and we'll go over what I use on the phone and then some of the apps in the drawer um, and how I like to use the phone. So. This is how I have it set up on my Nova Launcher, and I'll show you how I have it on my Google Launcher as well um, after we get into what's on here. So in my first folder, it's called Social. So I use Twitter, Instagram, Relay for Reddit, Facebook, Snapchat, and TimeHop. You should all be pretty aware of what all of those are. I mentioned TimeHop on my last video, which is a app that takes all your social media together and lets you check in years in the past so last year what did you post or what did you like or whatever um, two years ago three years ago four years ago up to five and six years long uh, so that's a cool app relay for reddit in my opinion is the best reddit client app anywhere even for the iphone whatever it may be i just like it um, you can touch just to go right into the photo. You can touch to go into the comments. If you grab here and just swipe up, you can collapse comments. It's just, this is night mode on AMOLED, so it actually saves battery to use this one for this phone because on an AMOLED screen, the darker the pixels, uh, they're not being used. So the, it uses a lot less battery. I notice if I browse Reddit for a long time, the battery will be a lot better with better screen on time when I'm using that app. So the rest of those apps you are probably familiar with. Uh, the next one for video, so I have Netflix, HBO Go, PBS Kids, which I mentioned in the last videos for my daughter, um, Stars Play, so Stars and Hulu Plus. So again, very common, so I won't need to go over those. In audio, I have Audible, so audiobooks. Pocket Casts, Pandora, Xbox Music, which is still named Xbox Music on here, even though on my iPhone it's Groove, and that is the logo for Groove, so that's weird. Haven't I didn't really notice that. Amazon Music and Play Music, so that's Google Play Music. So um, the app that you probably are unaware of, besides maybe Xbox Music, is Pocket Cast. Um, you see this a lot on top-rated stuff on the store. This app, if you're into podcasts, is great. There's not really one that I've used that's better. The one made by Apple, Apple created podcasts, or it's part of their ecosystem, and it's still not as good as this. So I have several things I subscribe to, still not as much as I want. Um, you guys can kind of see a little bit there. John Jay and Rich is a local radio station out where I live in Arizona. Stuff you should know stuff you missed in history class, stuff they don't want you to know, that one's one of my favorites, um, stuff to blow your mind, BS Report with Bill Simmons, uh, Detective is a really cool new one, it's basically a detective from the Colorado, let me see what is the name on here, Colorado Springs Police Department that was a detective and he's going over different things and scenes and stuff that he saw over the years, 
um, which is insane. It's really cool. And then TED Ed, which is cool. It's from the TED um, Talk type of. I don't know if the company's just called TED in general, but really short little clips on things you don't really think about, um, like how does deja vu work, or what does it mean, stuff like that. So I highly recommend uh, Pocket Cast. It's cool. Google Apps, all the same Google Apps you probably know besides maybe Studio unless you do YouTube. Google Rewards, if you're not using Google Rewards and you're using a Google phone, Android, you just do it. Unless you have a problem with super privacy or something, that there's surveys that pop up and you answer questions and you get Google Play credit. So you can see my reward history, if I go in, total earned since using the app is $19.95 just for answering surveys. Now, the surveys can be as low as you see 17 cents there, 10 cents, 25 cents, uh, 60 cents is a higher one, zero sometimes, rarely, but there are some zero dollar ones, and then you can actually see there's one dollar, so what I've heard is the more you go out and about, um, it sends you surveys, like the other day I went to Safeway, and I never go to Safeway grocery store, in case it's not everywhere, I don't know if it is. And I got a survey later and it said, have you been to one of these locations lately? And one of them was Safeway, the other ones were other stores. So I said yes, it asked me how my experience was. So I use it, I guess, or I guess they use it as some kind of tool for companies or for you know, accuracy on tracking their maps, whatever it is. Unless you're super worried about privacy in like a tinfoil hat way, there's no reason not to use it, it's free money. So use it. Um, next is finance, so Bank of America, Mint, Chase, Wells Fargo, and PayPal. Uh, Mint is Mint Bills, like I mentioned in my last video, it keeps track of all my bills. I love that app, it's great. Uh, you should use it too. Um, I do have a second page on here, I usually never do for my Androids. I don't know why, just that's how I've always been, but I do for just quick things. So, I've been playing Clash of Clans lately, as recommended by people at work, which I never would have started. It's addicting. Um, and then to the next spot of that is Greenify, sleep, um, and close apps that I want to do to conserve battery. I'll show you how that works in a second. It's a shortcut more than it is an app. Facebook Messenger, speed tests. I do a lot of speed tests. For whatever reason, I just like to do them if I'm in an area with great service, um, take a screenshot and send it to my friends. And then Timely, this is my favorite alarms app uh, that I've ever used for timer, for um, the time, and then for alarms because it carries over when you sign in your new Google account to other phones um, and it will tell you stuff like this. If I turn that on, alarm is set for, you saw that, one day, seven hours from now. So it'll tell you an exact time and if you're like me and if you've ever accidentally set an alarm for 8 o'clock p.m. and you hit on, it's gonna say your alarm is set for 20 something hours and you know it should be, you know, eight, nine hours from now. So that has saved me several times. Um, you can change all the colors on this. So if you go into here, you can go to change themes and just there's a ton of stuff to do. It's a free app. I love it. I recommend it to whoever uses an alarm to wake up. So again, under my Greenify, and I'll go through this too, uh, not everything, because I don't want to make this a million years long, but I go to Greenify. I have certain apps that Greenify. So this shortcut, when I press it, Right now you can't see it because it keeps the screen dim when it does it, even though the screen's on, you can see the navigation buttons. It's shutting down those apps and then it puts the phone to sleep. So in my folders, and you can see the scroll effect I have on Nova, it just kind of wipes. So if I go like this, it just kind of does it, which is cool. It's not a whole page turner over. Um, a couple of cool ones, A Plus Gallery, which is a nice gallery app that you can use. Um, let's see, Android Pay just came out, so I've been using that a little bit. AZ Screen Recorder is cool. Uh, lets you record your screen and what's going on. I um, have some shopping apps. Not a whole lot else. I keep most of the stuff I use on that front page. 
Evo Creo, I don't know how you say it, is a cool app. It is a game that is uh, meant to mirror Pokemon, sort of. So if you want to check that out, that's on the App Store. It's one of the top paid apps right now because it's only like 99 cents. And if you do your Google Play rewards, like I said, then you should get that quickly. Um, I was using Phoenix for the longest time for my Twitter client app. The problem I had was that I Phoenix sucks with notifications. I would never get notifications and Twitter Twitter is real time. I'll get the notification immediately. Um, so I stopped using Phoenix and Phoenix was five dollars. So it's really frustrating that they can't figure that out because the rest of the app is so great. You can see how it looks. I love the way it looks. You can do night mode and stuff. I'm just not getting notifications. It drives me nuts. I get them eventually when I open the app or something. And yes, I have checked settings. Um, and it's part of the problem if you look at the app store um, in the reviews. A lot of people will say that. So, GSAM or GSAM battery monitor is cool if you want to check specific things that are eating up battery or you know temperature percentage all that stuff so you can go into your usage and see what's using the most and then you can kill apps based on that Daniel Tiger app for my daughter Goat Simulator is another fun game uh, Hitman Go is another game I play Jetpack Joyride, Leo's Fortune, Lifeline was the one that you saw the notifications for so it's a game where it's like a survival game where you basically choose the path for a guy who has crash landed somewhere in outer space I guess I just kinda got into it because it's 99 cents on sale right now so it's pretty cool um, tons of these that you're gonna see or that you have been seeing are either wallpaper apps or they are icon packs so I like icon pack changes and I'll go into what this icon pack is too because I like this one a lot um, actually it's right here Materialistic with a K. And I'll go through the ones that I have as well that I use. Um, again, not a whole lot in here. I don't want to go over any more of this really because I want to get into those settings. But if you go in here, I want to show you my Google Play or Google Now launcher setup. This one's a lot more simple because the icons are huge and it's going to mess up my wallpaper because of scrolling effects. But I have my daily, is what I call it. So these are the apps I use the most. And you can see in there, Pocket Cast, Clash Clans, Lifeline, because that one's new and I've been using it a lot. Instagram, Facebook, Relay, Snapchat, Twitter, Time Hop, and then Google, because Google Apps are accessed a lot by myself. So I'm going to go back in and change it back to Nova. And I have the, the uh, wallpaper correctly moved. So I'm going to go into Settings, and you guys can see under Look and Feel icon pack so these are the ones I feel are worthy of keeping on my phone I won't go through all of them but I'll scroll so you can see or try them out for yourself I ride UI was a paid one great at, uh, icon pack love that one materialistic is the current one I'm using another great one and I think that was also paid but all these are 99 cent range maybe a dollar fifty so they're worth it moonshine is completely free and that's my probably my favorite one um, so check that out if you haven't and velour is another one I paid for as well I've paid for a couple of these so yeah so if you guys have any questions um, on any kind of settings I use or maybe on Nova what you're seeing here um, 